Hey there, Heather here from The Unraveled Mitten. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the mixed cluster crochet stitch. This is one of my very favorite stitches and I am so excited to be able to share it with you. If you would like the written instructions for this stitch, you can find them on my website. I'll put a link to the, the post in the description box below. Let's get started. Grab some yarn and a hook. I'm using this paint box Simply Erin yarn, which is a worsted weight yarn and my 5.5 millimeter Clover Amour crochet hook. Chain a multiple of two. Make sure you do your chain loosely. A little tip um, is to go up a hook size or two for your, just doing your chain. All right, so I'm going to chain 16. One, two, 16 chains. So row one is just single crochet. So we're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook and in each chain across. All right, so there's our row of single crochet. So row two, so you're going to chain one and turn. This chain one does not count as a stitch. So in the same stitch as chain one, you're going to make a half double crochet. Okay, and now we're going to do our mixed cluster. So I like to think of a mixed cluster, kind of a mashup between a, it's like half double crochet and half puff stitch. So you'll see why after we get started. So the mixed cluster is worked across three stitches. It starts in the same stitch as your last one ended. So it will start in this stitch here with the half double crochet and then it will skip this one and then it will end in this one which sounds a little confusing, but once you get going, it you'll see what I mean. So we're going to yarn over. We're gonna insert a hook in the same stitch as your half double crochet, pull up a loop. So there's three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, okay? And then you're going to skip the next stitch. And then yarn over, insert your hook into the next one. Pull up a loop. Now we have four loops on our hook. Yarn over again. Insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up another loop. So we have six loops on our hook. So to finish it, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. All right. So now we need to do it's sort of like a decrease of what we just did, so to compensate we need to make a chain one. So chain one. And now let's do that again. So you're gonna insert your hook into the same stitch where your last one ended. So insert your, oh, we forgot. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two loops, skip one stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop in the same stitch. We have six loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops. Okay, 
Now we need to do that chain one to compensate for the decrease. Otherwise our fabric would be all wonky and not even. So, all right, let's do it one more time. So we're gonna start our stitch in the same stitch as we ended the last one, okay? So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, okay? Yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna yarn over and skip the next stitch. And then in the stitch after that, we're going to pull up a loop two times. So yarn over again, pull up a loop in that same stitch. And you have six loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through all of your loops, and then do a chain one to compensate for the decrease. So you're just gonna repeat that across your row. All right, so now we have two stitches left and we're gonna work our last mixed cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch where we ended our last one. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, skip this stitch, and then in the last stitch, you're going to pull up a loop two times. Got six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and now we are not going to chain one. Instead, we're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch we ended on. And that's it for row two. What do you think? It's kind of fun, right? All right, so row three is going to be another row of single crochet. So we're gonna chain one and turn. We're gonna single crochet in the same stitch as chain one. And then in each stitch and chain one across. Now, you're gonna to wanna to stitch into the chain one, not in the chain one space. So just single crochet all the way. So you're gonna to wanna to go into this one. And then this other little one right at the top there. So just single crochet all the way across. All right, so that's it. Just repeat the last two rows for the length of your project. And that's how you do it. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Um, tell me what you think of the stitch in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stitch tutorial videos.